Hey everybody and welcome to another tutorial. As you know the new 3.4 is out. I've been using the 3.3 LTS version which is going to be good for a year. So that means we get lots of updates. Awesome. And for, pardon the movement there, for right now I'm going to be going over some of the 3.4 options where we have auto masking in the sculpting tab. Uh, there's three or four different options. There's some new nodes. I'll cover those later, but the auto masking is super cool and it's super useful. So that's the things that I'm going to cover first. So let's jump right in. All right. So we've got our favorite model of all time here, the Suzanne monkey. So what I want to do is just, I'm going to add a subsurf to that. You could bring it up as many levels as your computer can stand. I'm going to go with three and then I'm going to hit Control A and apply that visual geometry to mesh. Get rid of that. And from here, we can just jump straight into the sculpting tab. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of maneuver this so it looks a little better so we can see everything. Just get your double arrows and then left click, drag that out. And all right, so we'll go over a couple of the new options here. So couple places you can access that one would be under the actual option menu you'll see cavity cavity inverted area normal and view normal so you've got some new um, options to click on when you're masking so we could do is come down and grab the paint we'll open up our tools kind of spread this out just a touch so you can see everything and we'll choose something like blue it's perfectly fine now you can also grab the options right here so it's all in one nice little place you can scroll up and down and what I'll do is I'll grab cavity first and I'll hit F to kind of bring that up a little bit and if you notice as I'm just uh, left, left click dragging the brush um, it's only painting in the cavities the concave areas of the mesh and it actually ends up having just a little bit of fall off, which is kind of nice. So, I mean, I'm up here and it won't, it will not paint the top. Um, so that's really cool, super useful. And if you know anything about painting layers and masking, this is going to help you out a lot. So next, and by default, uh, when you select cavity inverted, it deselects cavity. They're going to change that in the next UI when they go um, through and do some more work and they have a, a more stable release. I think it should stay this way personally because if you're trying to paint the cavity, why would you have that both of those selected when you could just go for a straight up brush with no selection, right? So that's fine. So cavity inverted and I'll come up here and select like a nice yellow, I'll bring it down a little bit, maybe more orange. And now if we paint this, we can see it's avoiding the concave areas and just painting the inversion. Now there's other two more options that are actually sub options of the first four. And these are cavity factor, which you can turn up a little bit. And that's going to change the contrast of the mask and then you have cavity blur so if you bring this up it goes all the way to 25 you don't really need that probably something around like seven or eight would be just fine and then as you're painting it'll blur it instead of giving it a uh, very defined line so it doesn't look as natural and so you can kind of get a little bit more specific and make it look pretty good now the next thing it'll paint for you I'm just going to move over to a nice bright red will be your area normals and just deselect if you don't want to continue painting into the cavity because that just kind of over overwrites it. So the area normals and the view normals, right? So if I'm doing the area normals, it's kind of just painting the top. Like you could add um, a nice snowy effect to something. Um, Or even so, if you're using something like Substance Painter or PBR, you know that you can put rust and different things like that in the curvature maps and everything else and have it kind of come down on top. 
And so here, you're actually gonna be able to uh, layer and mask as well now inside of Blender. And so you can put a lot of different colors in here at the same time. So this would be super useful. And now we also have the view normals. Let's kind of bring up the brush a little bit. And that's not going to grab too many areas, but you can see where it's grabbing. So wherever your normals are, um, that's where it's going to. That's where the paint, you know, mask or texture. If you want to add a texture, you can do that as well. That's where the uh, paint's going to grab, as you can see. And that's pretty smooth, and it's still probably got my blur on. Now I unchecked area normal. I had that selected, but so for your view normal, just to be more specific with it. And I'll kind of zoom in here. Um, that's going to paint whatever is actually in your view instead of kind of wrapping around like Blender's brushes classically will do sometimes. So you see it, it completely stopped at the uh, point where in the viewport that the mesh was not visible. Not to mention some of the painting I already did back here that doesn't count. And very handy, you can have the menu, the pie menu for this. Not necessarily everybody knows this. I have not seen anybody teaching it anyhow. But on the um, new release video and notes, they really go over this, that you can actually just hit A in the viewport and you can get your different mask options through here. So this is gonna be uh, very useful so when you're going in here you don't have to try to go back through tons and tons of different settings to find everything. Now if you want to access the other pie menu so you can get the different features here for the face set, the cavity, the area normal, and the view normals, that's going to be Alt A with your cursor in the 3D area and now you can pull up the topology if that's where you want it, cavity, cavity inverted just like we went over, the view normals, and the area normals that we went over. Okay, so another thing you can do with this is come down if you wanted to say add a mesh filter or some type of filter, so we'll click on that. And then the filter type, you can be inflate, whatever you want. And while you're selecting cavity over here, mind you the cavity factor being the strength is going to, like if we have a very low, and we've got it on cavity and we just kind of move that in and out then that filter will apply just to cavity as well as the color masks so we could back that up do inverted and you see that we get everything else you can get some neat effects that way as well now if you were to kind of bring up the blur and bring up the factor a good bit and then do that on cavity then you get some crinkling effects anyways it's something to kind of mess around with and it would be like a big jump ahead if you were um, doing some sculpting and you needed to just kind of like get the whole thing done or just a specific area so if we went to the um, area normals we could grab just the area normals and move those up as well so it works on everything anyhow we really beat Suzanne up pretty good this time so um, hope you guys learned something and whenever there's a, a very relevant uh, release with blender especially with the new 3.3 that's LTS which is a big deal and the 3.4 because they're moving ahead pretty fast there's I think seven eight nine different nodes that came out uh, this week. So just so you know how to get here a little better, I'm under uh, release notes and node physics. So what I'll do is just kind of back this up to the original site. So this would be what you would see when you go to wiki.blender.org. You just come down here to release notes. Then you just pick wherever you're at. These are the currently active. These are older versions, just in case you feel like you wanted to get into an older LTS uh, because you need it. So that's down there. So you got Blender 3.4 Alpha. I've been using the 3.3 LTS predominantly, but there's a whole lot of functionality in the 3.4, so it's worth moving up and at least setting one of those up. And if you don't have 
the blender launcher, then I absolutely highly recommend you go ahead and get the blender launcher and I will show you how to get that. Okay, so if you were at um, .bo.github dot blah 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 io launcher don't worry that will be in the um, mentioned download links so you'll just have a link to get straight there but whatever you got Linux there's all releases or just get it for Windows and then when you do get it you're gonna want to click on the little settings icon and click launch system when it starts otherwise when it launches like this one likes to just disappear, doesn't really fit in the screen. All right, too so well. the Blender Launcher, once you've got it, uh, like I said, you can go into the Settings tab, make sure it is set to Run, and you can go into the Downloads and get the Stable. You can get the Daily or Experimental. The Stable 3.3 LTS is the one I use the most. And of course, the 3.4 alpha, which is the one with the new functions. So when you go in, you can do all that new layer masking and have the, um, it's almost like a layering IDs. You can just do it right there. You don't have to do anything complex, super cool. So anyways, that's how you do it. And then once it's uh, loaded up, you'll be in your library. I don't have anything in library because I just reinstalled it for this. And then you'll just click it and this should start every time you open up uh, restart your computer so enjoy that and thank you for watching the video and for my youtube subscribers please hit that like button and if you're not go ahead and subscribe and check out my affiliate links i've got a link with pbr painter which is an incredible program and just so you can see it in any of my videos you'll see that I have mentioned add-ons or links and my sponsored links if you choose to support my channel if not I'm still thankful if you just smash the like button so thank you very much and check out some of my other videos I got a lot of material got some new stuff up on geometry nodes and making a city in space so Go ahead and give Before that a look that, if though. you are interested. And like I said, watch this.